before you do anything, I got to tell you, don't place any registry images in the Brilliant Registry page or on your Mysterious Artifacts page, no matter what, until step four of this quest. Stick around and you'll see why. What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? I'm in Vegas, and I am excited for a brilliant event, finally. Like, it feels like it's been a while since I've had that type of feeling, but I'm excited. I'm excited for this brilliant event because it sounds amazing. We're going to go ahead and go over some of the spawns, some of the things you can expect to see. And of course, we're going to talk about those tasks and the bundles. They exist. So we're going to talk about those too, I guess. But without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about what you can expect to see this week in the battle for the Department of Mysteries brilliant event. The Bell Jar of Time will exist inside Wizarding Challenges. Ron Weasley will be from Brilliant Port Keys. Luna Lovegood will be from Tasks. The Brilliant Veil vale and the Tank of Brains will be the two encounters that you actually see on the map for this particular event. So it is a little bit unfortunate because Ron and Luna are also both encounters that they could have used, but I understand that they've got this whole formula thing worked out. So that's kind of what's going on. As far as the boosted spawn goes, other than seeing the Brilliant Veil vale and the Brilliant Tank of Brains on the map, you can see Hagrid's Umbrella, the Omnioculars, which I need a lot of and haven't seen in a hot minute, the Mirror of Erised, and of course, the Severe and Emergency spawns, which will be even rarer, okay? So take this with a little grain of salt. The Philosopher's Stone and the Time Turner can both appear this brilliant event as boosted spawns when using Tonic for Trace Detection, I guess. I, I don't know. It's pretty rare, I think. Maybe you'll get lucky. On to task number one. Task number one for this. And again, this whole event is very simple, okay? The only thing that you can get stuck on or hung up on is task four. And again, we'll talk about that when we get to it. But for task number one, all you got to do is collect ingredients or portmanteau two times from the map for two leaping toadstools, brew one tonic for trace detection for two rain blood, and return five brilliant tank of brains for one strong extimulo potion. After you do that, you're going to get 550 wizarding XP, 50 brilliant family XP, two restricted section books, and 10 spell energy. On to task numero dos. Earn 3,500 wizarding XP from traces for one hermit crab shell. Use two tonic for trace detection potions for six snowdrops, which is actually not a bad reward at all. And then collect two brilliant battle of the Department of Mysteries rune stones for one dark detector. Now about this task in particular, the collect two rune stones, if you don't visit your registry page for this brilliant event at all until you hit this step, then you should be able to rack up on a couple of those rune stones instantly. So that's a little quick tip for you. Don't visit the registry page at all, or it will instantly fill up the family XP bar and force those rune stones upon you. So if you wait until the second task, you might be able to sneak that in pretty quickly if you haven't visited that page already. After you get done with that, you get 750 wizarding XP, 75 brilliant family XP, three restricted section books, and 10 spell energy. On to task number three. Task number three is all about those wizarding challenges, which are going to be fairly easy to accomplish now that we have the night bus, and that's the thing. So you'll have to defeat 15 enemies in wizarding challenges for two healing potions. Complete five wizarding challenges with three or more teammates for one strong extimulo potion and earn 7,500 wizarding XP from challenges for one silver key. After you do that, you'll get 1,250 wizarding XP, 75 brilliant family XP, five more restricted section books, 10 spell energy, and on to the fourth and final task. Earn 500 mysterious artifacts, family XP for one red spell book, return 20 brilliant veil foundables for two red spell books, and then place five images on the brilliant Room of Rooms registry page for two more red spell books. After you get done with that, you will receive the Luna Lovegood image from the page, from the registry page there. You'll get your five restricted section books, five defense against the dark arts books, 50 coins and 30 spell energy. Now, do you see why I said don't place? Do you see? I said don't place images because if you place them way earlier on, even though they're all over the map, it will hold up your progress. If you're a speed demon and you like to get through this thing, just wait. It's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. All right. You have to, you, you do have to place five images. So it will be helpful in this instance to walk off those five port keys for Ron Weasley before you get to this step. 
Uh, that way you can place him as soon. If not, then you're going to have to wait, essentially, to farm more of those wild encounters and farm more things so you can get done fast. Uh, you could grind wizarding challenges for this as well, since usually the requirement is only three foundables. You could do the wizarding challenges fairly quickly if you have enough of those rune stones. And then the two brilliant encounters, that will be three. Ron Weasley would be four and then maybe do the wizarding challenges again or something like that. And I also said that for the Mys Mysterious Artifacts page because you can earn that XP so, so, so quickly by placing images, especially the higher threats. So like the Philosopher's Stone, for example, uh, the Time Turner, if you get any of those or if you get enough to place them, wait to place them once you get to this step. So that way you can earn that family XP super duper quick, which is great. Now we're on to the bonus task. The bonus task will have you use two tonic for trace detections for one unicorn hair, return 45 brilliant battle of the Department of Mysteries foundables for one ponic stimulo potion, return 30 artifacts foundables for one silver key, use five potions and wizarding challenges for one spell book and defeat the highest chamber unlocked. Man, they really love that task, don't they? For one red spell book. After you're all done with the epilogue or the bonus task, you get that 2000 wizarding XP 100 Brilliant Family XP, 5 more Defense Against the Dark Arts books, which brings the total up to 10 for this event, 1 Brilliant Event title, 5 Ron Weasley Fragments like we just spoke about, and 30 Spell Energy. That's it. That's all you got to do. Fairly simple event, right? Let's talk briefly about the bundles. Hey guys, can you guess what's in the free bundle this week? I bet you can't. I bet you can't guess what it, oh. Yeah, you you guessed tonic for trace detection ingredients, didn't you? That's what, what we're getting. What we're getting in the free one. <laughs> tonic for trace detection ingredients and 25 spell energy for free. In the next level up, we have five silver keys and 10 spell energy for 450 gold, which is not a good price for that. Don't buy that. And then the, uh, the next level up from that is going to be the three Barufios Brain Elixirs and 10 Potnik Simulo Potions for 740 gold coins. And then finally, the bonus assignment bundle that you can get. And you can pick this up. 10 Potnik Simulo Potions, 10 Wit Sharpening Potions, 3 Tonic for Trace Detection Potions, 2 Strong Invigoration Draft, 3 Barufios, 10 Keys, and 100 Spell Energy or 2100 gold. If you like to put your money in a toilet, go for it, man. I believe in you. You can do this. <laughs> Guys, the event is easy. It will be very simple to get done in a day or two. Very, very, very easily. You could even get it done in a few hours if you wanted to, okay? It's a simple event, but the thing that I'm looking forward to most is the dialogue. How are Harry, Ron, and Hermione going to talk about seeing the Tank of Brains or Luna Lovegood or the Bell Jar of Time, which is such a freaking cool thing from Order of the Phoenix, where the guy gets his head crushed in through it and starts turning into a baby Death Eater, and then he's a big Death Eater again, and then he's a baby Death Eater again. It just it looks to be a really cool event, and I'm hoping that there is payoff in this dialogue. Of course, I'm looking forward to the second part of this event as well, and we will have those details soon. But if you did enjoy the video and if you liked it, please let me know by leaving a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click that red subscribe button and ring those bell notifications so you can be made aware the next time I produce a piece of Wizards Unite content. You may also notice something new. There may be a new thing that you see down there below. It may say applaud. And applause is something that they're implementing now for a lot of YouTube creators where you can actually super chat on a video, not just in live stream, but on a video too, which is such a freaking cool thing. If that's something you're into, that's great and amazing. If not, it's obviously, I just wanted to let you know that that's probably why you're seeing a new thing down there. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you check out the links down below. I won't name all of them. There's social links, Discord links, Patreon links, all that stuff. All that stuff. Go check it out. Go get yourself some merch if you're into that type of thing. And I will see you in a couple hours for Fortress Friday. Until next time. Peace.